What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to today's uh, tutorial, uh, whereby we are going to look at how to install GeoServer in uh, Windows. Uh, GeoServer is a, a software whereby it's used to render serve uh, GIS data, and we can have a look at it from our website, which is uh, sorry GeoServer.org. Yeah, so it share it is used for sharing geospatial data, and it is also integrated with other systems to create uh, things known like some uh, architectures that are known as spatial data infrastructures. An example is uh, a spatial data infrastructure called uh, GeoNode, which has uses GeoServer as its uh, rendering GIS server. So it has been built or it has been developed with Java. And uh, today we are going to look at how we can uh, install it uh, and uh, just uh, uh, install it and uh, configure it in the Windows uh, Windows 10. So you might be having a Windows server somewhere that you want to configure or uh, to install and use it as a GIS server. So you can uh, use this tutorial uh, to help you out. So. Uh, first of all, you need to have downloaded uh, a GeoServer, and uh, in this case, you can come here and uh, uh, to this link, and you'll see at the current time of this recording, we have GeoServer 2.18.1, .1. and we have different methods in uh, through which you can install. You can install through a pla an independent platform library, or you can install as a web archive. So in this case, since we'll be using a uh, web uh, server. Uh, we will uh, use a web archive. It is. Uh, <coughs> it has also been developed uh, with uh, Java. So, <coughs> pardon me for that. I have some uh, cold. So we will. Uh, I have already downloaded all the requirements. The second thing that we require is uh, we require to have the Java development kit that you can also download from. Uh, the Oracle uh, website. Uh, the, I'm going to share these links in the description below. So we have these uh, the JDK Java Development Kit. So the Java Development Kit is also a requirement uh, because we will be using uh, Tomcat, uh, the web uh, servlet uh, container uh, called Tomcat, Apache Tomcat. So Apache Tomcat. For it to run, we require to have Java in our uh, system, and uh, because of that, we will need to download it. I have also already downloaded it, so I won't download it uh, again. So I'll just proceed with the installation, and uh, I'll first of all install JDK, the Java Development Kit. Just as usual, it will uh, launch a wizard whereby we will an installation wizard whereby we will just proceed with the installation. So, as you can see, this is a path. If you wish to change your installation path, you can uh, click on the change button and uh, change it. But we will for now, we'll just install it to the default with the default uh, directory or the path uh, settings. So uh, Tomcat uh, servlet uh, container, uh, the web server, as our web server is dependent on uh, uh, Java, and uh, that's why we need to install uh, Java because Windows does not uh, by default come with Java. And the good thing is that Java is uh, it is cross-platform, so just once you have installed it, it uh, you can use it in any other platforms. Yeah, so we have uh, installed. Uh, since we are not interested in going into detail the tutorial API documentation, uh, which is beyond all, so the scope of this video, we are not going to look into all this. So we are just going to close. And uh, the other thing we are going to do, we need to add uh, Java into our path. It seems mine seems to already have the path. 
Uh, but I've known that because I've opened my command prompt, the CMD command prompt, and I've just typed in Java. And uh, it has given me some options. So if yours does not have that, what you need to do, you need to come here and uh, click start and then you can search for variables and then you're going to edit the system environmental variables and then you click yes and then you click on the environmental variables and then you can uh, add something that you call uh, java uh, java home and uh, actually mine does not have so i may need to add that so i'll add a new variable and i'll call it java home and uh, kindly note that you have clicked on the new button for the system variables not the user variables so you have the new button uh, below here so we have it as uh, the variable name is java home and the browser directory will browse to the exact directory and uh, you have it under program files and java and then under it we have what uh, the jdk so we'll select it as uh, the JDK folder. And this is my path. So yours might be different, maybe because of the version. So also, if you have installed, you have J JRE, the Java Runtime Environment. Uh, you can add it as well. But in this case, I highly recommend you use the Java Development Kit. So I'll click OK, and here we have our our Java Home um, variable, and then. We'll also add something onto our path, so we'll edit the path, and inside the path we will uh, add a new component, and then we will. What we will do is that in this new component, we will just add the variable that we have, the path that we have created, and then we add slash bin uh, bin folder. So that is it. So. We have just added two things. We have added Java home to our system variables and then inside the path variable or the path, yeah, the Windows path, we have added what's called the path to the exact uh, uh, binary folder for the Java. So once we have done that, you can test it using the command prompt at java version so that is our java version you can also look at the java compiler version and there it is so uh, that said it means we can also try and uh, look at what java home gives us sorry we need to add echo yeah so it uh, Directs us, directs us to the path and we can also look at yeah so that's what we have and we can also echo the path and see what it uh, gives us among it you will see that we have the binary folder so that's what we have so I'm going to close my window so we have installed the JDK now we are going to proceed and install the Tomcat so before install the Tomcat let me show you we, we, if you do not have Tomcat installer downloaded, you can just search for Tomcat and then we'll open the Tomcat uh, page. And at the time of this recording, we have uh, the latest stable release as Tomcat 9.0.41. So, we, if you also and also Tomcat 8.5, so I've been downloaded the Tomcat 9, click on the download and it will bring us to this download page and uh, you can select the downloads depending on your use or depending on how you want to install it so in this case uh, for simplicity purposes i've uh, downloaded the 32 64 bit service installer for windows but you can also download the zipped version uh, both if you're using 32 or 64 and uh, you know extract it somewhere but this one involves quite a number of configurations, but uh, for, simplicity, for simplicity purposes, we're just going to use the 32 or 64-bit uh, installer. So this is the page for the Tomcat download. So we'll uh, proceed with the installation for the Apache Tomcat. And 
just click on next we agree to the license terms and uh, we can enable the host manager because we are going to uh, although it's not necessary we can leave it as a uh, default and then we'll click next and then we have uh, tomcat 9 so this one creates a, a service this service will be called uh, tomcat 9 on the, but you can also rename it as you also wish so we'll add our username and the password uh, for logging into the uh, manager graphical user interface that we are going to look at then you'll click next and then it has detected the java uh, path and then you click next so here you can also decide where you want to place your uh, installation in this case i'll place my installation in drive c i, I won't place it in the program files but you can as well place it yeah, wherever you please, maybe in the program file. So I'll leave it as a Tomcat and uh, I click install. So it extracts. I do not take a lot of time. So yeah, so you can look at the readme if you want. You can also run if you uh, want as well. So what we are going to do uh, we are going to run, enable this uh, run Apache Tomcat. So when we finish, it immediately starts the service for Tomcat 9. And uh, you'll realize that there's something that appears on your task uh, taskbar that uh, is uh, is used to manage the Tomcat server. So in this case, you are going to click configure. So when you click configure, you see that it, it's telling us the status of the service that it has started. And uh, what I want us to do is I want us to go to the Java tab. And inside the Java tab, you see that we have uh, different the path to the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine, the class path, and we have these Java options uh, the, for the variable of Java opts, in, like if you're using Linux. So what we'll do, we want to add our memory. So it is recommended uh, if you are prima uh, for you to use at least a quarter of your memory, the total RAM. So in this case, I'm just going to set it to 4096, which is equivalent to 4 GB. But also note that you cannot set a, a memory, do not set a memory version that is bigger than your ram so if your ram is uh, like let's say 4 gb you cannot set it to 8 gb you cannot put it above the required the exact ram or the memory that your computer is using if you click apply and then i can also stop uh, the server and then after stopping it we have this folder called that we downloaded from GeoServer uh, that is uh, GeoServer dot uh or geoserver.war so we are going to copy it right click and copy and then we'll paste it in tomcat yeah you have permissions so ensure that you also have rights to that folder otherwise it will not you'll not be able to access it so i just copy and paste the geoserver uh, web archive or the geoserver.war.war file inside that tomcat web apps so let me repeat that again so we have tomcat web apps so we have this geoserver.war installed inside the geoserver uh, uh, sorry inside the tomcat uh, web apps directory and then we can now start our server So after starting our server, uh, we can navigate. So I've not changed the port settings or the port for Tomcat. So by default, Tomcat runs on localhost port 8080. So that's where uh, Tomcat uh, runs in. Uh, maybe we can give it some time as it's starting because it is extracting that GeoServer folder. So let me close my browser and uh, start it again. Let's just try accessing it via the 
SSL or the HTTPS port, which is 8443. So it also does not start anyway. If you have installed GeoServer successfully, what you need is that we'll have Geo, uh, 8080 slash GeoServer. Let me remove the S. So we have 8080 slash GeoServer. And uh, this is uh, the user interface for GeoServer. It confirms to us that we have installed uh, GeoServer successfully. So the user is uh, normally admin and the default password is usually GeoServer. But it's recommended that you change that if you are using it in a production environment. So this, this is a GeoServer uh, user interface or the web interface, the administrative web interface. So that's how it looks like. So we have uh, installed our GeoServer and uh, Tomcat, Java JDK, the Tomcat, and also our GeoServer successfully. So that said, uh, this uh, brings us to the end of this uh, tutorial. So if you have any questions or comments, kindly put them in the uh, comment section below. And uh, uh, thank you for your time.